One of the problems related to the abuse and misuse of antibiotics is represented by dysbiosis. It is well known that antibiotics may have an impact on the gut microbiome and uh, in this way they can change uh, the bacterial pathogens that each of us uh, uh, has in the gut, uh, modifying them uh, towards uh, a trend that is uh, uh, more characteristic uh, of the uh, obesity phenotype. And so this means that apart of, from the risk that uh, are well known and are related uh, to the use of antibiotics in terms of increasing antimicrobial resistance, another risk is the increase uh, in obesity. This problem is particularly relevant in pediatric age because uh, you know that children very frequently uh, take antibiotics uh, even for viral infections. It is clear that uh, the uh, priority is to use correctly the antibiotics and uh, to treat just bacterial infections with antibiotics and then also to be careful in the correct uh, use of uh, each product. Anyway, I think uh, that uh, these data that start from the animal models in which uh, uh, the data show how uh, the uh, abuse in antibiotics is useful in increasing the weight of, of the animal, for example, and uh, uh, so for the production of food. But uh, uh, this uh, uh, approach had, at the end, uh, two consequences. First of all, the fact that the meat that we eat uh, can be uh, modified by uh, the characteristics that the gut of uh, uh, the uh, animal uh, has had. And in addition, uh, at the end, uh, for uh, the humans, uh, the abuse of antibiotics can impact in the development of obesity. And it is clear that this risk is particularly high in the first years of life because an obesity acquired in childhood can be maintained through the adult life and then in the adult life it can be associated with serious problems uh, like cardiovascular disorders or other kind of complications uh, associated with dyslipidemia.